Before we can begin working with Illustrator and Lino Cutting, we need to have a quick idea and an overview of what Lino Cutting involves and how the tools work. So let's go through the key concepts first of all, Lino Cutting. It's a bit like potato prints, but a little bit more complicated. You use a tool to cut out um, some shapes on a block of Lino, then you ink that up and you put paper over the top, press it, and it comes out the other way around. That's the simple key concepts of Lino Cutting. Let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. When you cut out, you cut out with the tool, as I've said, and you make your marks, then you ink over the top, and then you press onto the paper on the top and roll the back to press and get the ink taken off. You can produce positive and negative marks. If you look at the top example, uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that I've got some black marks here. Um, and when I print those out, only those are inked up and they become black. They stand proud of the rest of the block. On the other side, you can see I've cut holes into the block on the right hand side and underneath it you can see that I get white marks on the black ink so I would call those negative marks whereas the black marks I would call positive marks and a good lino cut will show you both positive and negative marks in it. Let's have a look at the tools that you can use to create those marks. Traditionally English lino cutters use the short mushroom shaped tools which are more expensive but you can use the Japanese long thin ones underneath which are just the same and they offer the same range of tools but very often they're cheaper if you want to buy those from an art shop or from somewhere else. Let's have a look at the ones in more detail, the mushroom shaped ones, and you can see that we've got um, on the right hand side a knife which is used for cutting straight lines which you can cut up to, a big wide wedge for cutting out broad areas and then some U-shaped tools and V-shaped tools. U's and V's give you different marks. Let's have a look at those in detail. On the top here you can see we've got the U-shaped gouge which gives you these marks on the top range and underneath it we've got the V-shaped tool which gives you these sharper pointier marks which we find more often in uh, German Expressionist woodcuts. But you can use both tools in any of your prints to get a range of marks and just as we want to have negative and positive marks so too would we like to have a range of marks to create interest and difference. 